There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Celebrating when they locked onto an unidentified object. Reflective in this video. Something. Apart from the planets in our solar system, astronomers have discovered many weird objects in space over the past few decades. These discoveries include comet studies, density measurements, and solar wind calculations, among other strange phenomena. Many space objects have been observed in the solar system, which has proven to be an odd place to look for them. Asteroids and other space junk have frequently been found in the final frontier. In vain, Astronomers have spent decades searching for extrasolar objects, essentially intergalactic guests from the alien star system, but it's precisely when all hope appears lost that some of the most amazing things take place. For these astronomers, it was somewhat similar. After decades of searching for nothing at all, something entirely unexpected occurred. At the same time, two things arrived. The investigation into these enigmatic visits involved astronomers and scientists from all across the world, including NASA. What could we learn from them? What was the history of them? Where did they come from? And when might the following one show up? So through the telescope of a space observatory in Hawaii, the first item that appeared out of the celestial abyss could only be seen as a small sparkling speck. It was discovered that the object originated from Vega, an extraterrestrial star that's located 147 trillion miles distant and was hurtling through space at 57,000 miles per hour. It measured 1,000 meters and had the appearance of an extended cigar. For an asteroid or comet that's not particularly large, if it even was an asteroid or comet. When it was first noticed, it had already sped by our own sun, completed a smooth hip turn, and was racing off in a different direction. It may have then coalesced into an uncannily spaceship-like disk, an asteroid or comet acting and moving in a way that's incredibly abnormal. While the astronomers were still reeling from the surprise visitor's awe, shock, and confusion, something else occurred. There was a second one. Gennady Vladimirovich Borisov, an engineer and amateur astronomer, used a telescope he had built himself to see an object moving across the pre-dawn sky from his own observatory in Orkney, Crimea. He could tell it was unique even at first glance. Unlike the comets that reside in the main asteroid belt that round our sun, it was moving in a different direction. The only remaining query is whether or not these extraterrestrial guests are natural or artificial. We'll need to travel to their starting point in order to achieve that. Oumuamua, which translates to scout in Hawaiian, was the name of the first extraterrestrial visitor who originated in the star system Vega. As the North Star of the past and future, Vega is well known. Bright star Vega is only 25 light years away from Earth and may be seen in the northern hemisphere's summer sky. The Earth's axis wobbles, so we perceive different stars as the North during the course of a 26,000-year cycle. In a little over 12,000 years, Vega will resume its position as the North Star, which it held for several thousand years. The presence of an asteroid belt around the star Vega in the beginning of 2013 raises the prospect of extraterrestrial planets hiding within the rock. It appears there are two zones based on the arrangement, an area farther from the star where warmer space rocks live in an area in the middle of with cold asteroids. One of these boulders, Oumuamua, was sailing out at a speed of three times the speed of Earth's orbit around the Sun, and NASA had only 11 days to examine it. Then it was too little and faint to be seen because it was out of sight. As soon as it entered our solar system and passed through Earth, it abruptly began to speed as it left our solar system. We predicted that Oumuamua would follow a hyperbolic orbit since we believed that gravitational force would be the only force acting on it. Though it didn't. It appeared as though there was a second acceleration, as though gravity wasn't the only force at work, something else was also pushing it. By the time it was discovered, our own sun had already zipped it, it had already executed a smooth hip turn, and it had already started speeding off in a different direction. There were two issues that scientists were particularly focused on. The first was the strange acceleration of the object as it moved away from the sun, and the second was the odd shape of the object. Scientific publications and news headlines around the world were flooded with conjecture in the years that followed. While NASA made a valiant effort to classify it as an asteroid, then a comet, then an asteroid, and then a comet once more, it quickly became apparent that we had no idea what it was. Let's face it, we still don't. Amy Lowen, a Harvard astronomer hypothesized that it might actually be a man-made structure created by a sophisticated extraterrestrial culture. Whatever it was, there's no denying that someone eventually had the guts to express what everyone else was thinking. It baffled everyone and stretched the bounds of our understanding of physics. 
Following its closest approach to the Sun, the object started to leave the solar system at a very fast rate, roughly 95,000 kilometers per second, relative to our own Sun, which was more than enough to assure that it would escape the gravity of our star. However, while traveling at such a high speed, the comet advanced very steadily and smoothly, which is completely the opposite of what is predicted of a rough and irregular comet as its ices are being released from its atmosphere. A naturally formed comet would be extremely unlikely to exhibit such behavior. On October 7, 2017, it was headed toward the Pegasus constellation and had no known destination. There was no way to follow and take photos of Oumuamua at that point with the technology available. This means that the data we have now is all we will ever have, but all of its peculiar characteristic might have a single compelling explanation. According to a recent analysis, it might be an alien spaceship with little sail. The many strange qualities of the cosmic visitor would in fact be pretty well explained by an artificial origin. The object was previously thought to be a comet, but after observations failed to see a tail or hazy coma, scientists changed its classification to an asteroid. Oumuamua's very discovery was something of an anomaly. Astronomers have employed the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia and the Allen Telescope Array in Northern California to listen for any potential pings coming from Oumuamua, despite the fact that our own solar system doesn't shed any Oumuamua or similar debris. The object has not spoken thus far. Fortunately, 2i Borisov proved to be a far simpler to understand than its cosmic twin. The discovery of the first interstellar comet has been confirmed. 2i Borisov is believed to have been made of a muted mixture of water dust and carbon monoxide similar to those persisting near the boundary of the solar system. It was more or less what scientists were anticipating and had a tail that was visible. However, 2i Borisov only serves to highlight how strange Oumuamua really is. The red dwarf star, the faintest and most prevalent kind in our galaxy, was the center of an old solar system that's thought to have been torn from it. One international team has made a rough estimate, based on the object's speed and trajectory, that it may have originated around the star Ross 573, a white dwarf that is now located approximately 629 trillion miles from the Sun. They suggest that it was sent into space following the dramatic collision of three big objects in this neighborhood of the stars some 90,000 years ago. While we cannot definitively declare Oumuamua was an alien, we're rather confident that it was. If a sentient entity from a highly developed alien culture wanted to spy on us, they would create a spaceship that could hide in plain sight. But what do we know really? Astronomers should be prepared to analyze more data as the telescope continues to monitor the night sky over the coming decade in case it detects another Oumuamua. Okay, that's all for this video. So, what do you think? Were they aliens? Or you can contradict that. Whatever it is, let us know in the comments section below.